When it comes to concussions, there is no one size fits all treatment. Right now, meet the experts at the UPMC Sports Medicine Concussion Program and hear the latest about the individualized therapeutic approaches, including the role of exercise in concussion recovery. Good, and then you can go into the lunges. If you come see me, you better bring your gym shorts. Go do five more in each direction. I don't care what type of concussion you have, exercise helps to treat whatever type we have. I am going to work you out. Dr. Mickey Collins serves as clinical and executive director of the UPMC Sports Medicine Concussion Program, the first and largest research and clinical program of its kind. And down, eyes are gonna follow the whole time. You're gonna go five in one direction and then five in the other direction. Here, the evidence-based approach to concussion rehab challenges long-standing beliefs that the patient should avoid physical activity. The whole go sit in a dark room and rest, that is really bad advice. If you have a knee injury, right, what orthopedic surgeons know is this is the type of knee injury you have, this is the type of rehab we're going to do to treat that problem. If you do everything the right way, you're going to heal up and you're going to be fine. That's the way we think about concussion. We can speed that recovery time up if we just do the right treatment in a very active and targeted way. That's the biggest change in the field in the last decade is understanding that there's actually active rehab for this. Good. And most of that work has been done here in UPMC. A concussion, simply put, is an energy crisis in the brain. It starts when the brain shifts in the skull, causing membranes in the neurons to stretch. Potassium leaks out of the neuron, which increases the demand for glucose. Calcium leaks into the neuron, which results in vasoconstriction and less cerebral blood flow. And so at the very time the cell's demanding more energy, we actually get less supply of energy. So concussion at the end of the day is this energy problem at the very cellular level. When your system is decompensated, the way we treat that problem is by challenging it and retraining it. And then you'll switch and go that way? Physical activity is important for this injury, but the key questions are how much, how intense, and, and how often, and when should you start it? And also, you know, it goes well beyond just aerobic exercise. So that might be anything as simple as, you know, physical activity, walking, exercise, uh, behavioral management, or something as complex as vestibular therapy or vision therapy. Good, any headache, dizziness, nausea? All right, let's try one more. So we're gonna use like the any other home. active targeted rehab, post-concussion patients go, may need to gradually Good. work through Forward. discomfort to make Carry progress. Empty. Think of it like exercise. You know, when you first start exercising, you kind of feel miserable, but you keep pushing through it, and as you do, you build a sort of resistance or a tolerance, and that's what we're doing with uh, this brain injury as well. It's building like a, a resistance, a tolerance, and sort of retraining the system. The experts here also note this is not the time to self-diagnose or dive into physical activity without a specialist's supervision. It's really important to go to that specialist as soon as possible to get the more sophisticated and targeted therapies. We work in sports medicine, so we know exactly how to move patients in certain ways to help retrain that system. And you really need to make sure you see a specialist that can understand how to assess and evaluate all this stuff, because it, it does get pretty complex. Complex because there are six different types of concussions. Patients may experience one type or overlapping types. They may also have certain risk factors, which could result in additional symptoms or setbacks. You have to understand where the aberrant signal's coming from to treat it effectively. And then if you actually treat that problem the right way, you're going to get better faster. The most exciting thing about research and concussion uh, for me is really uh, when you see it translate into a change or an improvement in clinical care and outcomes for our patients. The message is this injury is treatable. The vast majority of patients are going to be responsive to treatments if they're given the right treatments at the right time by trained experts. I'm very proud of what we've been able to accomplish here at UPMC and here in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. We see patients from all over the world and they come here and we treat them and they get better and they get back to the sports they love. Get news and free CME at upmcphysicianresources.com.